Back speaking with Imugene's Chief Executive, Leslie Chong, and Chief Operating Officer, Dr. Bradley Glover, this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Look, Leslie, firstly, from you, big news this morning on the Phase 1B Azacel trial. Uh, three complete responses. You must be pleased. Well, it, these are meaningful response rates and even more meaningful that some of these patients have gone on to over 120 days with these complete responders. So that's quite indicative that our new regimen is working quite nicely in this very, you know, very unmet need population of patients. Bradley, just give us a, a recap on the trial and what it's looking to achieve. Sure, sure. So um, like Leslie just said, you know, we've had three uh, complete responses in our in our CAR-T phase 1B trial for blood cancer. Uh, DLBCL is the, is the specific indication. And we've treated TADEN patients across two cohorts that are design, designated an A and a B. Uh, six patients in A uh, have received lymphodepletion. Six, uh, four patients in B have received lymphodepletion plus a cytokine called interleukin-2, uh, and that's our B cohort. The first two patients treated in cohort B achieved a complete response with one patient in cohort A um, achieving a CR as well. Uh, and as Leslie mentioned, this durability of 120 days, 90 days, these are directionally, this is what we want to be seeing in this trial. All four patients in cohort B are ongoing, um, and one of them is waiting uh, kind of an initial 28-day evaluation. Cohort B, looking forward, is planned to be included in our registrational FDA package. So this is the, the um, I think we've, as Leslie mentioned, we've kind of optimized, clinically speaking, um, how we're approaching this and how we're moving forward. And now it becomes just trying to get more patients um, uh, on uh, cohort B and then uh, progressing that in 24 and 25. And look, Bradley, this is significant. Uh, all patients had failed multiple prior treatments here. It, it is, um, and many of them, four, I mean, four to five treatments already, and our patient population in cohort B are CAR-T failures. They've, they've had um, RCHOP and some of these other types of chemotherapies, and then they, they've had out, um, uh, autologous CAR T therapies, or several of them commercially on the market, but unfortunately, um, a, a large group of those uh, don't uh, don't uh, end up being durable. And so, we feel Azer Cell is really positioned well to really hate, help those patients um, who have um, uh, who don't have a lot of other options. And so, as you say, you'll be enrolling additional patients into cohort B, will you? That's right. So that so that we have a full package to go to with the FDA for a registrational phase two, three study. So this is just a last step before we run into a registrational pivotal phase two, three study. And all going well, this could be the first approved CAR T cell therapy. For, for it cancer. could be the first allogeneic CAR T therapy. And what's important there is that we use healthy T cells donors in order to create our azer cell, as opposed to autologous CAR T, which is heavily dependent on, you know, a fairly sick population. And so their T cells have to really just um, notch it up. And, you know, we're so pleased that cohort B and the team has decided on a regimen that seems to be quite promising at this point, that an allogeneic, we could be the first allogeneic CAR T to be approved in the market. So I'm thrilled. And you've been moving fast here. Uh, enrollment kicked off towards the end of last year. That's correct. So we're at one year anniversary of the acquisition of Azer Cell, and we're actually at one year anniversary of Dr. Bradley Glover having joined us. <laughs> so perfect timing. So we, um, yes, so we are, um, we started in November of 2023, and the team has working quite diligently and extremely hard to um, get this cohort enrolled, and we are really pleased that we have found a regimen in which to run to the FDA with. And what about mm -hmm. potential opportunities here for solid tumors? 
So we, as you know, we have another product that we call Oncarlytic. It's our Oncolytic virus that expressed the CD19. Well, perfect fit. Azer cell actually targets CD19. So that combination is already there in the making. So we're already looking at preclinical models so that we can make AZ, optimize Azer cell to work better with Oncarlytic. So that is still ongoing as well. And Bradley, as Leslie mentioned your one year anniversary since joining. How are you finding him, Eugene? Oh, I'm loving it. Um, the, the culture is fantastic. Uh, um, we all appreciate Leslie's leadership and uh, the, the really exciting pipeline. You know, we have cell therapy product uh, that's um, the subject of this announcement. And then we have the Oncolytic Virus Project uh, program in, in, our, in our pipeline that has the ability to, to pair it with CD19 targeting agents. Um, and then I think the way in which the, the company is run uh, super effectively, um, great collaboration across um, all, all folks in the company. And as of late this year, we're really trying to drive operational efficiencies in the companies. We referenced the Kinsell deal earlier this year. Um, and it's really enabling our clinical team to be able to focus on getting these therapies to patients um, and determining outcomes. So that's really our focus is clinical trial and efficient execution. Leslie, just a final word from you. Upcoming milestones, uh, what are you working on? Look, we are trying to bolster some more of that complete responder as well as durability. So we'll keenly focus on that Azer cell enrollment into cohort B to improve that data. And hopefully we'll, we can provide outcomes um, as we move along. On Carlytics, you know, moving like a fire uh, across the landscape. Um, so we're trying to get that combination um, completed so that we could start evaluating the data. As you know, Vaccinia, we continue to see meaningful results as we get higher and higher into that dose. And so all three prioritized programs have really uh, just been going like lightning storm into the landscape of cancer. And we hope to get not only blood cancers locked down, but also some of that solid tumors as well. Great to see you both. Leslie Bradley, thanks for your time. Thank you. Andrew. Thank you.